Thank you for joining us. Pima County officials say vaping is a big problem in local schools. That's why the county's health department and the school superintendent's office are teaming up to address the problem. News 4 Tucson's Danelle Confair has more on the new campaign. In Arizona, teen vaping is illegal, but it doesn't mean teens aren't doing it. School officials are calling it an epidemic that needs to be stopped. One of my friends actually offered uh, me to try his vape pen because he said that it would help me calm down. Adriana Norega is a senior at Choya High School and is one of the several teens helping to launch the Real Deal campaign to raise awareness to teen vaping. I actually didn't even know that jewel pens or like jewels or vape pens even had to Nicotine in them. According to a 2018 Arizona Youth Survey, nearly half of Pima County High School seniors have tried an e-cigarette or vaping device at least once in their lives. There's kind of a system where under upperclassmen have more access to buying these vape pens and then they are able to help um, underclassmen have access to it. That's something Tucson City Council hopes to prevent by raising the age to buy tobacco and e-cigarettes from 18 to 21. It is the only way that you can cut e-cigarette use in the high schools by around 50 percent by doing that. He says this proposal for 2020 has widespread approval with those on council with hopes that Pima County will follow suit. Schools should do more work in trying to realize that that vape pen is exactly the same as that cigarette that they had to deal with 30 years ago. The Centers for Disease and Prevention issued a report last month with findings that teens are consuming nicotine at the same rate they were 30 years ago. For more information on prevention, head to our website at kvoa.com. I'm Danelle Confair, News 4 Tucson.